Paul, once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. This is a slow time, whirlwind, something, probably being able to see in the dark. Uh, possessing people looks like I can command rats. That looks like a blink upgrade. This looks like uh, I can kill people, disintegrate their bodies, maybe, so they don't get discovered. Um, that looks like I don't know what to call that one. Dude, what if you could have the rats eat the bodies so they just disappear? That's a thing. Wait, did really? you not know that, or did you know that? I did not. Yeah, okay, funny story. I'm it's pretty messed up. I'm gonna record this. Um, so the rats eat the bodies, right? That's like automatically in-game. Like, you can see that during the tutorial, kind of escaping through the sewers. What's really funny, in 2010, okay, two years ago, I was reading Game Informer uh, magazine. I used to get subscriptions. I was reading it, and it was talking about this game, and it had like four pages in it, and I was so, I was like so happy. I'm like, this game is gonna be the shit. And they're talking about how um, you can actually purchase a double jump, which uh, which you can double jump and then use blink. And they're like, okay, well, we need to take this out because people will be able to get across the maps intended super fast, and we don't want them to exploit that. And then, like, one of the main guys was like, no, we should leave it in because uh, that's the kind of thing we want people to used to discover what they can and cannot do and then they talked about how you can use rats to eat bodies or slow time and then shoot everybody in order to um, kill everyone stealthily without having to fight them it's pretty interesting I don't know what this this little model is though it had teeth um the command rat army but then there's these teeth I don't know that one I don't know. That one probably... One of these is probably double jump. And one of these is probably... Faster, slow time. Speed? I don't know. But slow time is like the first one. It's an hourglass. Isn't an hourglass like the signature insignia for time? Yep. Okay, so vitality. So these ones are probably... Some of these are powers and some of these are... Actual... Um physical effects that you can fix. Shadow kill. Um, unaware enemies you don't see, you turn to... Oh! Unaware enemies you don't... S who don't... Fucking my... my this is, fuck! Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. All enemies turn to ash as they die if you level it to level 2. Strategic tips. Shadow kills... Shadow kill causes the bodies of slain enemies to turn to ash if they are unaware at the time of their death. This is useful for stealth since you can time your actions so that one enemy fades away before another one turns and might see him. Further, you do not have to hide bodies if you have this enhancement since they turn to ash and fade away. At level 2, this enhancement even works if slain enemies are aware of you. Nifty. Agility. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. Hold on, let me sit up straight so I can narrate like a commentant, like I'm reading a story. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. Overall movement speed is increased. Strategic tips. At level 1, increased jumping ability allows for more vertical exploration, especially when combined with blink. At level 2, this enhancement increases sprinting speed, which allows you to rush an unaware enemy faster for assassination or to run away when wounded. Climbing and swimming speeds are increased too. Bloodthirsty. Build up adrenaline when tr then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Level. Level 2. Build up adrenaline faster than trigger brutal melee fatalities. Enables a double attack for adrenaline kills, which can be used against multiple enemies within the range. Strategic tips. With this enhancement, your actions in combat allow you to build up adrenaline assassination. Attacking with a sword, blocking, and dropping assassination all increase adrenaline. Once you've built up your adrenaline, you can initiate power sword attacks that will kill enemy with one blow. Level 2 allows you to build up adrenaline faster, enables double adrenaline kill it against multiple enemies within range. Vitality. Health is increased. Health generation is improved. Strategic tips. Level 1, your health is increased, allowing you to sustain more damage from attacks, exploration, 
from attacks, explosions, or falling at level 2, the portion of your health bar that regenerates is improved in several ways. Regeneration occurs faster, and more of your health regenerates. So it's sort of like, uh, this is the bare minimum of health that would regenerate. At level 2, the bare minimum is more, and you have a larger quantity. Dark vision. Mana consumption is very low. See in the dark and see living things be... So... Okay. See in the dark and see living beings <clears throat> excuse me, through walls, including their fields of vision representation of the sound that you will make are also visible. Level 2. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision representative of sounds that will make are also visible, see useful objects, and security systems through walls as well. Strategic tips. Dark vision is highly useful for stealth, allowing you to watch enemies from behind walls before approaching them. Seeing enemy faces in view cone gives you a significant advantage in terms of sneaking with this power active. You can see visual representations of the sounds you make as well as uh, as well for which further aid in sneaking and understanding stealth at level 2 useful items, resources, and security devices such as the wall of light are visible through walls too. Wall of light to my understanding is basically if someone walks in through it they become electrocuted like a punk bitch. Um, blink, rapid forward movement for a short distance, rapid move forward movement for a longer distance, level 2. Strategic tip for Blink allows you to move very fast without being seen. Moving is useful for stealth since you can teleport from one hidden spot to another, or even from rooftop to rooftop. If you combine jump with the power of Blink, uh, Blink can effectively be chained together with assassination or choke if used to move up rapidly to unaware enemies. The mana cost for using the power is low, so the recharge portion of the mana bar will allow you to blink even when you are out of potions. Blink can also be used to move upward at limited distances. Note that the cursor changes when aimed at a surface or ledge that will allow you to climb up as Blink. Possession. Level 1 allows you to control the animal target for a short duration. Level 2 allows control of human targets for a short duration. Strategic tips. Possession is very powerful, allowing you to merge physically with an animal such as fish or rat for a limited duration. You must have the unobstructed path to your target. This power is useful for stealth, enabling you to hide in small places or move through space. Move through spaces normally too small for you, like water filled drain pipes or ventilation ducts. Enemies will try to stop you, stomp you if you are possessing a rat. While possessing a hound, you can sprint fast. At level 2, you can possess humans as well. Your control for humans is limited, so combat or fast movements are not possible. Possessing a human allows you to perform Simple actions such as collecting objects or opening doors, allies of the human you are possessing will not attack you when security devices attuned to the human you are possessing, like arc, pylon, or wall of light will not harm you. If you are falling, possessing if you are falling, possessing an animal or human on the way down will effectively break your fall. Nifty possession sounds fun. That uh was very high consumption of mana. Bend time. This is also very high. I think all these are pretty high. All oh, the last two are very high. Bend time. This is very high. The last two are high. Slow time for short duration. Sorry to interrupt one. you, fish, but uh, Royst is making a map for Minecraft for him. Yeah, I remember when I did that. No one really gave a fuck. I did. Oh well, yeah, you were. You were. Um. Considerate of the fact that I spent. Oh what, 36 hours making it, and then it's fucking like, oh, well, we can't beat it, let's just go play something else, I was like, wow, fucking assholes, worked hard on that shit, nah, but yeah, you were, you were, uh, considerate, appreciated it, and anyway, this is Ben time, cool. And uh, it slows time for a short duration. Level 2 completely stops time for a short duration and you normally move. You move normally during the complete stopping time. Uh, Streak tips. Time to stop for the duration of this power, but your movement speed is fast. Relatively bend time is useful sneaking and assassinating. Since your enemies are spending time, this power gives you time to slip past enemies and sneak away or to rush them unaware for lethal strike. Anything you come into con physical contact with is pulled into your time and moves faster briefly. Bend time is also useful for stopping projectiles in midair, giving you a chance to move out of the way or even collect them. So you can collect bullets. Get this. 
I bet their idea is that you can collect bullets or bolts for crossbows. Bolts for crossbows, you could probably do. That makes sense. Um, the bullets themselves, I wouldn't want to touch one because it's like if you grab it and it's like now it's time becomes your time, then it's it just becomes the normal bullet at normal speed and just fucking goes through your hand. As well as you'd have to re-powder it and reshell it and that just takes some time. Devouring swarms. Sounds fun. Some of the swarm of rats that will attack the others then disperse after a short duration. The swarm will also consume corpses. Level 2, summoning a large swarm of rats that will attack others then disperse after a short duration. The swarm will also consume corpses rapidly, so quicker. Unleashes a swarm of rats that attack anyone in their path. This is usually lethal against one or two enemies, but anyone attacking. Attacked fights back. If the rats are released on a group of enemies, sometimes that group can kill enough rats to disperse the swarm. Devouring swarm can also be used to quickly dispose of corpses, and if you also have the possession power, you can summon rats and possess one of them at level 2. You spawn more rats in your rats and inflict more damage and devour corpses faster. Wind blast, wind consumption high, ruins is pretty high. It's like 3 for all of these, something 2. Anyway, wind blast, powerful wind that can push back or knock down enemies and shatter doors. Wow. Level... That was level 1. You can shatter doors. That's fucked up. Level 2. Very powerful. The wind can kill enemies by throwing them into walls and shatter doors. Jeezy tips. Wind blast is useful for shattering wooden doors and for fighting enemies, especially in groups. And enemy near a railing will be knocked over the railing, falling to his doom. If any enemies fires a moderately heavy projectile at you, such as a grenade or the tail or the tall boys and city arrows. Tall boys must be the city monitors that walk around on stilts. What a funny, funny name, tall boys. If any fires moderately heavy projectile at you, such as a grenade or the tall boys and city arrows, the wind blast power can hurl the projectile back at them if properly timed. The level two the power will throw enemies into nearby walls hard enough to kill them. There's tutorials for all of these, but I will worry about that later. What do you think, Johnny? What should I unlock? Quite honestly, I, I can only get vitality or dark vision. Uh, what does vitality do again? Uh, increases my health a little bit. Not so. <laughs> and then dark vision, I can see through walls and I can see the cones of people's vision. I feel like that's useful. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's better than. <laughs> I feel like that might no. be a little more important. I would like to buy it. Thank you. Uh, press the button game. to look. And see bullshit. Nifty. Dude. Yeah. I'm a hardcore. Oh, I didn't hear that. You cut out. How you my hardcore playthrough of Minecraft. I'm at level 27. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, it's actually forward. a good title. Now this I'm guy's pretty crazy. I like him. But he's no got he's got some some flipping actions to not give a fuck because he can do these magic powers. I also read in Game Informer that they will not allow you to possess all the all the actions in game. So it's like if you invest in um, probably possession and rat swarm and ash magical bullshit, um, there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to buy um, Vitality or, uh, or Blink 2. You know, mainly because uh, they only put enough ruins in, so you can upgrade the powers that best fit either a stealthy or an attacking or uh, more of a passive get through without really having to encounter people, uh, such as position. Um, so there's not actually enough ruins in game to be able to um, upgrade everything. I am def. I might have wanted to save that, but I feel like buying that dark eye thing or whatever that will help me um i'm probably gonna be sure and get possession as well as ash touch killing or whatever um being able to possess people uh turn people to ash if i kill them stealthily and uh being able to uh, maybe blink and uh see through walls is probably what i'm gonna go for mainly it's my idea of a good uh good playthrough 
no Indeed. bond river, you new allies have planned to share with you, meet with the loyalists in a circle. Okay, 